Hello everyone, this is Adrian and today I would like to welcome you again uh, to another episode of my blind e-commerce critiques. So, today, because I did not want to waste any more time, I have already pre-screened, let's say, a couple of links and I have taken two e-commerce uh, online stores I would like to um, critique or give my subjective opinion about. Uh, if you didn't see the first episode, um, then I would like to say a couple of words about the purpose of uh, this video. The purpose is basically to give uh, you as maybe e-commerce business owners uh, or e-commerce agencies some ideas of how uh, you can improve your own online stores uh, or the online stores of your clients. I would also like to um, practice uh, a little bit uh, when it comes to my skills. I've been working for an e-commerce agency for uh, a couple of years now and it's always good to look through uh, some other uh, e-commerce businesses to get some new ideas and also uh, see if I can provide some constructive criticism. So basically that's going to be it when it comes to the intro and we will start reviewing some online stores. And the first one I have come uh, i have uh, come across today is herring shoes uh, .co .uk. Mm, and as i said uh, in the previous video we will go straight to mm, a mobile view okay and let's see what we have mm, okay we have a logo we have the card the menu Okay, everything seems to be in order here at the top. However, apparently my main menu hmm, doesn't work. That's bad. Let's see. Let me pull up my phone real quick. Let's see if it's the problem of my browser or maybe this is really the fault of uh the online store itself so let's go quickly to herring shoes because obviously i would like to give you um as much uh real world advice as i can but if i can't access uh, some particular part of the site uh, it obviously won't be possible to give you my thoughts. Okay, it's loading. So, uh, I will just move down um, and wait until it loads on my device here. So, search bar. Search bar is good. Uh, shop shoes, sugar luggage. Um, okay. Yeah, that's fine. It's not great. Uh, I would make it way more visible, uh, just like these new Christie 2 uh, model, I would just create some nice graphic graphical banners. Okay, uh, so we have uh, the store loaded. Okay, so the menu works on on the mobile device so there has to be something um, so it has to be something with my view here um, so I unfortunately I won't be able to go through the menu on the mobile version um, so let's move on and maybe later I will come back to the menu uh, on the desktop Mm, okay, we have some information about Brexit, which is fine, but maybe it would be a good idea to put it on the bottom uh, of the page. And then we have uh, some more banners. We have sale, treat your shoes, some new arrivals, 
sale which is fine I like it it's uh, it's always good to uh, give your client uh, some sort of a suggestion you know what they can see I would also add uh, on this main home page on this home page I would add some sort of a carousel with uh, like best sellers or uh, top products something that would um, that would direct the the user straight to a product okay and what do we have here on the bottom okay we have joined the mailing list for exclusive offers fine but maybe we should uh, make it more visible mm, maybe try to contrast this this block of text uh, because it's sort of sort of it sort of blends in with uh, with everything else Mm, and why choose herring at the bottom of the site that's fine and quick links well um, this seems to be the footer right this seems to be the footer of the site um, I would add contact information I would add uh, I would add mm, maybe some links to social media I would add a couple of elements because it, it, it certainly lacks something. I would add links to pages like privacy policy. Um, yeah, you can you have these here like shipping and returns policies. But to be honest with you, the users, the, the clients are already accustomed to having these sort uh, sorts of information somewhere in the footer, right? So if they come down here and they don't see these information they will just think okay it's not here I'm leaving the site right uh, I wanted to read about privacy policy shipping returns and they they will not just go through like the wall of text even if it's just a couple of uh, paragraphs couple of sentences they will just quit and they will look through quick links and you can't see anything uh, anything good down here so that's uh, that's an element I would correct let me see uh, if it's uh, 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 let me see uh, if it's the same on the desktop okay so on the desktop you can see that you have all these good sites you have the brands help price promise style guides Terms and conditions, return policy, shipping information, blah blah blah. So everything is here. Contact us, about us, everything is here, but it's not on the mobile. And yes, this sort of social proof, pay using Visa and all of the other things, it's all here, but it's not on the mobile, which is which is a, a bad thing. I would correct it. Um, no, it doesn't work. Let's see if we can. And maybe make it a little bit wider now does it work I really want it to work I really want to discuss the menu uh, but I can't I can't discuss the menu so uh, on the mobile so we will go through the menu like on this uh, desktop view so what we have here is still doesn't click <sighs> sorry low production value um, why doesn't it just drop down what's going on like what is going on in this menu here what's going on I have no idea let's start over okay let's start with the desktop let's wait until it loads and let's see the menu come on oh here we go okay that's more like it um, okay you have sale we have brand section uh, men's by popularity men's by name women's by popularity latest brands trending now in our blog that's all fine I like it um, they like it I like it you have uh, the brands sorted out that's fine men okay good brands formal styles casual styles shoe care accessories luggage clothing 
great. I like the I like the clear um, separation. Uh, I like that we have a lot of choices. That's good uh, because you 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 will you will never know what your clients are looking for, right? Um, women, we have sugar brand style. That's fine. Luggage you know some kind of a blog post it could be also a product or a promotion uh, info about a promotion that's fine as well we've got shoe care we've like <laughs> okay youtube videos okay okay that's fine um stories i think this is the blog right and we've got some help but why is it on the right hand side i don't know and also stores, why are these on the right hand side? Hmm, seems a bit strange, to be honest. Maybe maybe the menu has some technical difficulties, you know, when you, when you hover your mouse over it and then you want to go back here on the left, maybe there was some kind of a bug and uh, these sections on the right had to be you know, moved to the uh, to the right hand side of the screen. Uh, I think this should be corrected because the, the human eye generally f mm, looks uh, at uh, on the left first, so it looks at the left side of whatever it's looking at, uh, especially especially top left. I think that I think that was the mm, the study. So. Um, I would think this should be corrected. And as I can see on the mobile as well, uh, this, this main menu also has all of these sections clearly uh, like clearly separated in the menu, which is fine, I like that. Uh, you also have um, all of the information uh, sub pages like about us, contact, privacy, FAQ, and so on. Shipping and currency. That's also fine. So I I like the the menu overall. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go back to our mobile view. So we switched quickly from the main page. So now we are going to search. Let's see search. Okay, so I clicked in, nothing. Let's uh, type in brogues. No suggestions. Okay, so I would say that suggestions should be added uh, suggestions, uh, maybe some thumbnails of the products that we are looking for. They should be added into the search field. What do we have? Uh, okay, so we have men's brogue, so we know where we are. The, the title is clearly visible. That's fine. Results. Okay, so we have two column view. Good, I like it. Uh, it's always better to have more uh, more products on on one page what i don't really like is these like white spaces i don't really know why they are here mm. because there's no information here no like go no button that says i don't know go in or you, you could put some more information in here uh, at least i think so and we have and we have a number of uh, no we have just results number of results okay mm. and we have filtering and sorting from what i can see i would guess this is very very small on the mobile let's see let me go in on my phone and see really quickly how small these uh, these buttons are oh yes quite small 
quite small. They are clickable, but they are quite small. Um, and for people who have big hands, listen, they will they will have some problems with clicking on the fields um, and these fields as well. They seem to be quite small on the on the phone. Um, so yeah, I would I would think about making them larger or more pronounced, uh, easier to be clicked and stuff like that. So let's choose uh, brown. Let's see how the filtering goes. Okay, so we can have multiple choice. That's fine. And it shows us the results. Okay, filtering is also, uh, always good to have on your site. So nothing really there apart from, as I said, just making the sections more pronounced, a bit bigger, maybe redesigning uh, this element of the site uh, because it just seems quite problematic for uh, for some people uh, it would seem to to click on these really really small um, buttons so let's go into like the first product that we have mm, what do we see we have the title of the product good the price that's interesting you know giving the price here at the top um, I haven't really seen that many online stores that show the price in this section. Um, now I'm thinking if I have anything against it. Um, I don't really know. I don't think I'm a really big fan of this approach of showing the price in this place. I would much rather show it somewhere down here near the quantity or near the, the, the size choice because it's closer to the, the, the add to basket button um, and I would think that some people would like to maybe look for the price uh, before they add it to basket and uh, maybe they would forget after, after some time uh, how much the item uh, costs and this is really a non-standard place to show the, the, the price of the product. Uh, free UK delivery and returns, that's good. But again, this, like this whole section, should be down here. Uh, you could put the price somewhere in here. You have size, choice, you have the quantity, you would have the price. Uh, add the basket and then you will have all the information about the uh, the sizing, the delivery, the returns, or you could put the, the information uh, about delivery and returns next to the price. That would also be good. Uh, okay, and here you have uh, some sort of reviews, ratings, how many times the item was viewed, so social proof. Uh, fine. Uh, I would also, uh, yeah, we, we could leave, leave uh, this here. I could also move this down. Mm, and here you have a really small, barely distinguishable make free payments with Klarna no fees. Okay, so you have the sort of installment plan. Um, this should be more visible. Um, it it could stay in this place, right? Because I would guess you you probably don't want people to pay using uh, like installments. Maybe I'm wrong, uh, but if you would really like people to pay with installments, then maybe this block could be somewhere up here, like before add to basket. But if it's just an extra option, we could leave this information here, but I would also advise maybe to make it larger because I don't know why why this is so small. It's way smaller than than even this, like your sizing, and I and I I'm really confused when I, when I look at it. 
I don't know why it's so small and why it's in this like random seems to be like a random place um, just make it larger maybe create like a separate section about like payment in installments uh, so your customers can simulate uh, such an uh, such a payment plan or something like that uh, and then you have product info which is good uh, I like that you have uh, that you have these attributes soul heal etc you could also have like 20 more probably uh, I would think about adding more and you have some description that's good delivery info returns info sizing info okay so the, again so these sections seem to be repeated right no they are not only the sizing guide seems no get an alert okay so these three sections as i said about deliveries returns sizing info these should be way higher they should be somewhere around here below at the basket so your clients will have uh, this information available because it's really crucial uh, to the conversation on an e-commerce site. Uh, this information uh, should be visible uh, or should be easily accessible from the product page. Uh, yeah, from the product page. Mm, and then you have some upselling, cross-selling type of module. Fine. Custom product reviews. Good. I would also leave them here. So overall, okay, certain things that could be could be done better. Uh, so let's add this to basket quickly because we are moving over 20 minutes. Okay, so we have a message that it has been added to my basket. We can go to checkout and we have some upselling, cross-selling. module good and we can continue shopping fine i would make it a little bigger because again if someone wants to click uh, and they have really big thumbs they will have some problems uh, so okay let's go to checkout now let's go to wait where will it take me will it take me to checkout or will it take me to the shopping cart Okay, so it takes me to the shopping cart. Okay, so let's see the shopping cart. Let's see what we have here. Uh, quantity, what happens when we press plus? This should change, does it? Something is loading. Okay, yes, good. Um, we have like some attributes tweed chestnut calf mole and green we have the sizing so it's good the client knows what they uh, what uh, they are buying shipping to uk is zero okay so we have this we have this uh, shopping uh, cost uh, shipping cost here good the client knows what he's uh, paying or not paying Mm, go green offset delivery carbon for 45p hmm i mean yeah yeah that's that's a good information to to have uh, if you uh, if you're really um, into the sort of green eco friendly um like deliveries or business models that's fine uh, especially when uh, more and more people are really looking into um, buying from or engaging with uh, greener companies or green companies uh, so that's good uh, to to go green to add this sort of uh, an option uh, especially if your clients are choosing it a lot um, then yeah sure why not um, and then you have the shipping method okay so we have free delivery and f express delivery via dhl okay 
and you have the times for estimated delivery that's a really good thing to have you could also have it somewhere uh, on your shopping uh, on your uh, product page sorry um, and you can pay with your card uh, paypal amazon google pay klarna so you really have a lot of payment options and i'm thinking now is it really necessary to have all of these paying with your card that's fine paypal fine by me but like amazon pay and google pay and and klarna i would think about you know what really what my clients are really choosing because maybe there are some particular types of payment options that the clients are choosing uh so maybe with okay so klarna is like um delayed payment right pay in 30 days and you have the installments um generally as i'm looking at this section i would personally redesign it freshen up this uh, shopping cart why because we have a lot of information small text uh, small text and we have a lot of payment options and they seem to be like just you know added in without you know any consideration uh there's there's like no description really what they refer to actually um so maybe redesigning this this block this section to provide some sort of a text description below every payment type you know we can pay with your credit card pay with paypal uh, or express paypal or anything right use amazon pay services uh use google pay with something you know just just give a little bit more context pay in 30 days so like use delayed payment with klarna uh used install pay in installments with klarna stuff like that because this this really confuses me like this section confuses me i don't know what to click to be honest with you i have no idea uh what i should be clicking here but before we click into anything let's move down let's see what we have here we have promo voucher code special instructions okay and we have email this basket okay so we can email the basket to someone promo voucher special instructions but like the promo voucher should be somewhere in here because the clients should be able to put in the voucher and after applying it they should see um in an instant uh, what is happening to to the total uh, or subtotal of their um purchase special instructions okay let's leave it here uh and email this basket okay but as i said like generally i would think that this whole shopping card needs to be redesigned at least a little bit to make it more readable because i am really confused i have no idea what to do now because i i know that i'm in in the checkout more probably because the the button said i'm in the checkout but i see no fields to input my data in what is happening i'm really confused let's click yeah so i'm in the shopping cart i'm not in the checkout yet i know this is a small distinction uh but it is there so as i said this should be redesigned so let's click on pay with card let's see what's happening after i click it yes so we are going into 
into the checkout and it's a step checkout okay and it's step one of five that's that's good if you have a step like checkout so we have a couple of steps distinct steps it's always good to give sort of mm, numbers along the way so you are on step one step two step three step six mm, and five steps that's a lot but okay it's good that you are giving the customer a sense of where they are in the process returning customers login new customers email check out as guest register good i like it maybe again let's like the the buttons are not um you know of equal uh like size or uh how do you say adjustment like these are uh like put way to the right these are um these are put like to the left side so yeah just just small tweaks okay small tweaks so let's check out this guest because we are about half about at, at about 30 minutes sorry oh please enter uh, an email address uh, uh email address let's doesn't matter okay the physical address so we can input our physical address so i guess in order to move forward we have to input our information in um which is which is fine but at the same time a lot of people just want to go through the checkout to see all the options and to see how much they it will cost them to to ship uh, how they can buy etc so i'm just thinking how many people are actually quitting your checkout uh, without checking uh, quitting your checkout or they are fed up with how long the checkout is like again title why don't just just don't like doctor professor why would you have titles <sighs> seems unnecessary okay let's let's just add some uh, some info doesn't matter company optional okay fine uh postcode uh, what's the postcode what can we can we give like a uh i don't know what are the postcodes to like in like london is like l01 uh ln1 la okay let's let's choose this okay so it completes the address fine primary telephone and again like uh, like you have you have no distinction okay so we have this little distinction if the field is optional you you have uh, these brackets and it says optional but and optional again but that doesn't really show your clients that all of these fields are necessary to be to be filled in uh, so i would add maybe like a little star uh, it's uh, like this uh, what's it called asterisk because this is universally known to be uh, a sign of uh, of uh, a field that is not optional mm. email newsletter i don't want it next let's see what we have in step three okay step three okay we have summary again shipping summary again proceed to pay uh, checking our data okay special instructions again special instructions yeah so i would remove the special instructions from from the shopping cart because you're basically giving your clients like this this option for the second time why just limit uh, the number of inputs uh, in the shopping cart it will be uh, faster to to go through how did you find us i think this information could be given after the client checks out i don't think it's 
that important to be honest with you and it just may confuse the client the client may or the, the user may not be willing to share this information with you or they uh, may be uh, giving you um, a false uh, fa false information just to you know okay let's deal with it I don't care word of mouth go uh, so maybe add it after they've purchased or on the shop uh, shopping uh, how do you say it um, the thank you page okay after they paid so okay it's the three out of five so let's proceed to pay with my card with my imaginary card mm. Billing address, okay, and you have pay securely with checkout.com, step four out of five. So I guess that step five out of five is payment. Yep, seems to be payment. Yeah, and it's still in the herring shoes domain. Okay, so we input your uh, your details and you pay okay so obviously we will not pay but I can't close it so um, let's let's go back to the the main page the home page um, overall rating I would give the store a 6 out of 10 uh, some improvements needed in the checkout, some improvements needed in the, the filtering section, uh, on the home page, uh, on product page, um, but there wasn't anything really that bad about the store uh, itself. Uh, some improvements in search as well. Um, so yeah, I think 6 out of 10 is, is a good, it, it's an average uh, online store my subjective opinion obviously uh, but with these improve improvements I think um, the store could be uh, could be better um, also I would overall think about at least redesigning uh, certain parts of the store graphically uh, so redesign the layout at least a little bit in certain sections make it more readable make the buttons bigger more um, clickable is that a phrase even more clickable um and i think that would be that would be it overall i didn't notice really anything too bad about the, the store but certain improvements have to be made okay i think because we are somewhere around the 40 minute mark uh, I think that would be it for today. So today we will only discuss this one online store. Thank you everyone for um, staying with me, for um, looking through uh, the herringshoes.co.uk online store. Uh, if you don't agree with me or if you agree with me, please leave a comment down below. Maybe you noticed something that could be uh, done um, additionally uh, to what I've said as I said uh, I only have a limited amount of time 15 20 30 minutes I I'm not able to go like very deep into uh, a particular store or layout um, so if you uh, if you think uh, also you need help with your online store when it comes to raising the conversion rate or Mm, just generally uh, you want to have some uh, some off-site um, audit being done to the store please contact me you will find uh, the contact information uh, below the video so thank you very much again I hope to see you in the next video and we will continue with our quest to blindly uh, and very subjectively obviously critique uh, some more uh, online shops thank you very much again uh, i hope to see you in the next video goodbye